when he explodes. I feel like he'll get me killed. You see Julia. Am I fucking staring? Like, whoa? I think it's one of those ones where I need to click. Yeah, but your reds are probably right. Yep, it was. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your your pals. Oh, we're fucked. Well, we're, we're named Henry. We're, we lost its spawn. You are drunk. I haven't gotten this far. Which what, which one do we do? I've never gotten this far. Give me a one. Give me a two. Give me a one. Give me a two. You slur the word major and it smells like coarse. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. <laughs> Was that a burn, you ask? She def she says defiantly. Worried she hurt your fe feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One we- Nah, this is the most unrealistic thing I've ever seen. Oh my! What the f- Dude, hello! Just, just, holy sh- Uh... Oh, please, control- Firewatch. Controls. Like Overwatch, but on fire. Oh, wait. It's already on fire, smile. Not wrong. I'm sure I can figure out the rest of these buttons later. Oh, toggle jog, that's gonna be important. Oh, even this is still fast, holy. It's still pretty fast, but... Let's go two. Hey, is there... Is there a... Okay. Motion blur, gone. Is there a... You know, like, can I make the camera wider? FOV? Nelly and Ellie thinks it's 21 months. Okay, guy thinks the eight months. Beta thinks the eight months. Turn off V-Sync. Yes. Yeah, this looks like a Henry truck. A cinder block with me? No. Also, I'm gonna turn up the volume. Load gear. I'm gonna really throw my backpack in the bed of a truck. I can't just put that next to me. You date for over a year. She drives you PC absolutely went down nuts. Two months back. Got my new one with RTX 4070 back to give you my free Twitch money, D. These are the same ones. I appreciate it. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. What? 
You move in. You share an apartment near school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Fuck. Julia wants to get a dog. <gasps> There's a scruffy, undersized beagle Julia is in, in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh, I have to choose? Oh, fuck no. Dude, we can't name a dog. We can't have a dog named Bucket. Bro, like, imagine it's like, oh, what's your dog's name? Bucket. It's just like... I, <laughs> I gotta go with Mayhem. Mayhem, it, I don't know, at least it sounds funny. You know, it's like, oh, his name is Mayhem. Oh, does he cause Mayhem? Ha ha ha. What the fuck do you mean his name is Bucket? Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and even goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. You talk it on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asked. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying, if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Uh, fuck. Oh no. Wait, how long have we been together? A year? Dude, a year's too early. A year is way too fucking early. Two years? Two years is still too early. We're not even married yet. We barely have a dog. It's too early. She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. I, I just... You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo. She says, laughing and off. I knew that was going to be the answer. One day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged laying in bed on a Sunday morning. See? Now we're getting somewhere. Uh... This is when they used to make trucks for real trucks before they started making them as one-ton machines that... Gone. This is, a, this, is a, this is like a Ford Ranger. Not the Suburbans we have today. No, seriously though, like that's... Like, if, if this was an actual, like an F-150 now, uh, this is where the door would be. The door would be here. Beehive? Can I run? Wait, what's my run button? I know R was toggle run. It says Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Wait, why are we fu wait. Wait, these both options these both options suck. You're either get you're either the like you get mad or you be like a child and be petty. Uh I I guess I, I guess. I don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask about her ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. 
Resentment. Make some coffee and go to work. Oh. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> There's no way this ends well. I, I feel like I'm just... I just... <laughs> Two, come on. What do you mean, two? <laughs> this is so... Does, it, does this have anything to do with my story? Well, I kind of already acted like a little bitch about the ignoring thing, so I gotta just stick to the same plot line, right? Very nice. Wait, so, so what is the run key? I know R is toggle. Is there a short, like a shorter burst run? Nope, there's just toggle. Cool. Two forks lookout tower. Eight more miles to go. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. Brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. May, me, moo, fuck, do No, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. Mayhem runs away. Wait, she ran away? Wait, what happened to, like, the big German Shepherd guard doggy? She ran? Honestly, this is America. We we know what we chose. Your arms get cut off and you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks you to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. And then you walk by the river. Wait, what path? You, you let our dog run away! Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Wait, no, now it's long enough. Now we're good. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Wait, this is... She commutes back and forth. Why don't we both go? Like, I thought I was kind of a bum. Am I not? You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass up if that's what she wants. She agrees to fly back to Boulder three times each semester. Oh, yeah, this is over. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh, so she's losing her shit. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. <laughs> Why is this so much more? I wasn't emotionally ready for this. Knox, by the way, thanks for I appreciate it. I was not a... Wait, wait, hang on. Hang on. There's two different options here. Are we talking about what you should do? Or what I would do for myself. If it's for me, I'm making mac and cheese and forgetting about it. But if it's for your well-being, yeah, we'll, we'll, we we should get that, you know, make sure you talk to someone. Because, you know what I do? I got a superpower. 
I have the greatest superpower on the planet. You know what it is, chat? It is what it is. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. Holy shit. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Uh, hello? What? Why did I- what the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, it wasn't really animated, but Jesus Christ, why is that a thing? Mayhem is getting older. Oh, we got him back. I thought he ran away. Oh, thank God. He's got silver hair down to his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. I don't think that's a good idea. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh, hell no. Some days, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she gets into panic, believing her dad is at the door. Oh my god. You tell her family they are crushed and they begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Uh, oh my god. Nah, honestly, you guys say two, it's not that simple. If you've actually ever taken full-time care of somebody, it's a lot of fucking work. Not saying this is the better option, but this is not a good option for anyone. Either way, we're fucked. But at some point, I don't think you can take. I think I don't think you can do it. You have to admit that you just you you can't do it alone. What the fuck? Let's just go over this thing. I thought it was going to be a chill stream too, man. I thought I didn't know. Why is there like a bush down? Like a, not a bush, but like a, like a, what's up? Oh. Is that lore in the journal? Nope. <laughs> it was just, it was just, <laughs> Our family agrees with your decision. You found a fantastic place in Boulder. I move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. Yeah, that's how it goes. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to see to not see your old friends that much. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Oh no. Month go by, mayhem die. Jesus Christ. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. 
Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. We just got to the- dude, the, the whole point of that was us to walk here? What the fuck? Why did- why did I have to have a whole life story and a dog and- What the fuck, man? Why was there a whole- maybe we should have picked 80s. Why was there a whole, like, I don't know. Sadness arc? I have to know if there's something over here. Oh, there's propane tanks. Is that my toilet? Oh no. Shift activate. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. Dude, am I gonna... F Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. <laughs> well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. And she was so far off, it didn't even hurt. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Wait, what? Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a Even thing in the problem. middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Uh, the round thing, yep. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Oh. And use compass. Yep. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Kick the shit out of them. 
Do you think you can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> uh, wait, where did she say the rope was? I wasn't paying attention. Is that along the way? M to read the map. Oh, yep, this is... Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, we're gonna have a great time. We'll roll this way, though. Uh, dragon killing things two months. Gent. On the road again. Two months, let's go. Running through the trails on the road. Okay. Oh. This looks like a cache. Supply crate. Activated. One. Two. Three. Four. A new map. Note. Examine. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his loadout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Alright, fair enough. I'll keep it. Take that rope. Take this pine cone. Take this granola bar. Eat. Yum yums. Pine cone. Pine cone. Walks trail. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. No! No! My pine cone! Uh, lake. Pine cone. Did y'all just hear, like, a bear? I definitely just heard, like, a little... What's the fireworks going up? How do I use my tools? This shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. 
I'd go with Widowmaker. Yeah, well, I'd go with Widowmaker. Come on, it's really not that bad. It's a 50-foot cliff made of rocks that look like knives. They just look like knives, okay? Plus, there's already a Widowmaker on the backside of Carter Mountain. It would be confusing. How do you expect me to get down this? Oh, yeah, crap. Well, did you get that rope? You haven't yeah, already. Can you update okay, title for me? Just remove the drops and everything. And take it slow. I don't think I did that. Income. Space bar. <laughs> No, no, no! Oh, 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 thank God I have my pine cone still. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Widowmaker got the best of me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Old climbing gear. I don't know. Okay. It's kind of getting dark kind of quick. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not Real. great, no. Clean up. Clean up. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. Come on, Pinecone. Well, they left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. I mean, I could put the beer cans in them. It's their property, right? Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Yoink. Keeping that for later. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Okay. Beat them all up. Took their beer as payment. Or their alcohol as payment. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people... Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Uh-oh. Am I gonna get banned? Oh, no. Am I gonna get banned? I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Oh no. Uh, there are, uh, 
Uh oh. Panties. They are what? I don't want. Is there a, is there a streamer mode? Is there a, is there a streamer mode in here? Uh. Uh oh. I'm gonna say that word again. Why? Cause you're twelve. There's a uh, ooh. Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's... I love know. this game. I hope two? you do too. Yeah. He's the nine months. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Slow peak. Slow peak. Slow peak. Walk in backwards. Walk in backwards. My compass. What is that guy doing over there? Is he skeezing? Hey, guy! Are you skeezing? No! I'm doing the opposite! They're coming, I hear them coming. Go stereo! Oh, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. Oh, this guy's creepy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my Fuck boom your boombox! Thank you. Now leave us alone. You're a creep. Total creep. Go get a girlfriend. Whoa, where are you going with that? Yeah. Stereo! I want my pine cone! You can't just steal from us! Oh, you fucker! I want to go, like, right now. Shit! Let's just get out of here. You'll pay for this, you thief! Wait, where'd it go? Where is it? I have a better idea. went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Hey, where's my pine cone? Wait, where is he? Wait. Pine cone? Wait. 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 Where is he? Pinecone? Pinecone? <laughs> oh. Where did you go? How did I lose him? He was right around here, wasn't he? I saw something. Maybe it rolled down? Oh, we're good now, they're gone. We're good. Sounds like a duck's over there. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd you pick up the boombox? Dude, where did I pick up the boombox? I thought it was over here. Over here?
Yeah, someone watched the VOD. Where's the cone? Where'd he go? That far back to the right stone? This one? Or this one? I don't see him. He's gone. I should have made sure to put him in a nice safe spot before I threw him. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Right now, though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's maybe that's a it's fair a, trade. I see Start the boom box. Like I should have kept it. I regret my decision of throwing it in the water now. Watch the clip? Wait, did you guys actually clip it? Wait, where'd it go? Where is it? I have a better idea. Wait, okay. I think I, I see. I think I see the rock. Wait. It was this thing, and then this rock. I threw it over here. Right? Maybe it rolled? That way? Cone! We got him! Uh, any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria or consumption or... <laughs> consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia, maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I really say that's too bad. Have updated. Old sweater. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? Don't you ever leave your really son behind like that is. again. He didn't... Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Oops. The fourth estate. Uh Okay. Take this note. Got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have gotten Hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos in Spanish, and then professionals is Italian. What? Still down there. I can't use my compass while using the pine cone. The party thinks it's a prime. Appreciate it. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here?
Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by two U.S. dollars effort. and fifty cents for the book. Oh, I don't believe it. If it was a college book, a couple of zeros are missing. This is the eighties, nineties, last or, summer. Yeah, eighty-nine. Oh come on, you're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. So are you going to let me know what happened that caused this budget increase, or what? <laughs> wow. I can't believe you don't know. I was a little preoccupied last summer. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that this President real? Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. Did that actually what happen? Do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper. So what should the oldies in chat? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand people were Did really happen? No gone. shit. It's Yellowstone, you know. People don't want to touch it, but we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a thirty cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Okay. Oh. I got a flashlight. Ah. Nice. A horn. This is a horn or an antler or whatever. Well. Antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. I'll come back for you later, horny. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? That is its name? Thunder we'll, Canyon? There'll be no objections. Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Ah, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! No. Oh. The pine cone can be named chatters like the pine cone. We don't let flats do anything else while he is talking to us. Wait, am I going away from where I was supposed to? Uh oh. Wait. There's no nudity in the game. You didn't need to moonwalk around. Bro, the there was a literal also, fucking I'm dick the first two minutes. If you lose your son again. There was a whole ass cock in the first two minutes. Shut up. Hello. Dude, why am I in a Oh, hell no. What am I doing here? This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. 
Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, huh? Hank. What? Huh? It's space, and... Okay, that was weird. On the road again. Going home with my pine cone on the road again. Oh, hey. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, yes. he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Why didn't I yell up to him, like, hey? There's, there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... Outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... It's... It's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, I didn't sign up for the outside. In the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Is it though? Yeah, I wouldn't fuck with me either. I mean, look what I got in my hand. Grass monkeys of you. <laughs> not wrong, not wrong. Just that clumsy? Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Is that my tower? Home! So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Wait. Oh, I thought I almost lost him. I'll come back for you, old baseball. Music at all intense. Oh. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Tony, you need to stay here. Actually, can I put you somewhere? What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man Turn hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. 
We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. What? Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Probably don't. Hey, just cut me off. Probably don't need this in my life right now. Wake up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Uh-oh. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Nice. New hat. Fine cone. Stay there. Don't leave. Oh. That works. Glory. The singular mind. Scottish oil soap. Glass cleaner. A pencil sharpener. Dish soap. Coffee. Percolator? Well, okay. Yo, can I take this? I've played PUBG. I will fuck someone up with a frying pan. Twenty-sided dice, yo! Let's go. Hey, hey, here we go. What's this? Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation, um, unless I've. Unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs, and the lake to the east is made of acid. Uh, is this a DD &D campaign? Erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. Ooh, now we're gonna find someone to play DD &D with. Save this for later. I think that's... I think I checked everything. Time to go. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I just realized. I gotta go bring the baseball up. Oh, you want me to look at the photo? Yeah, I can look at the photo. Give me a sec. Hang on. Where's my... Where's my poop house? Where's the shitter? There it is. Close that door, make sure nobody's taking any unregulated shits.
Enjoying the best game ever known to man. Thanks for 300 bits. I'm guessing you're a big fan. Where did the pine cone go? Wait. Pine cone? Wait. I left him right there. It despawns? Oh, it's by the bleach. Oh, shoot. Whoo! He's safe. He's safe. We're good. We're f we're good. He's safe. <laughs> yeah, the photo. <laughs> Chat. We have very clearly different uh, motivations of this game. You guys want to see the photos and the lore? I want to make sure my pine cone didn't despawn. Wow, I am ugly. I'll leave the lights on when I leave. Make someone think I'm home. Take a look at the map. Alright, that's where we are now. And then we gotta go this way to survey communication lines north of the canyon. What canyon? Oh. Thunder Canyon. Alright, time to go. I don't think this is the right way. I think we're supposed to go out the back of the shitta. Where's the shitta? Over here. So it actually wanted to be going this way, right? Yeah, north. Okay, this is the correct way to go. Woodpecker. What's over here? Anything good? Ooh, drop down. Where's Piney? I left him at home. He's safe. This mission, we gotta go pick up Horny. Actually, pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Well, we, uh, we walked out of the shelter, and there was some graffiti on a trash can, and it said, Dicko Mayhem, and um, he walked over and peed all over it, and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, sure, just going to keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. 
I don't think so. Why, have you? What? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. You bug things the prime. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute. And um, sorry, but but you said we you you owned him with someone. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like pretend I heard nothing. Wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife. My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful. I don't trust her. And escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. I don't trust you as far as I could throw you. Wait, I can't open this anymore. Oh, no, I can't. <gasps> Ooh, talk horny! Someone talk horny. I have to find another one. Okay. Dashes is the telephone. Okay. Not there yet. Oh. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Air tooth point. You know, what do you think inclines somebody to stay in a place called Bear Tooth Point? Is that a fucking house? Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. This outhouse is in the middle of nowhere. Well, I hate to tell you, but everything out here is in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean. Am I on the right track? Just keep following the wire to the top of the ridge, and then you can head back. I hate that I just randomly walk into walls. Definitely the most annoying thing about this game so far. There's just random walls places, like invisible walls. Hat. Don't I have a hat that I'm already wearing? Well, I guess that hat just went out the window. Why can't I get... Hello? Can I not... Hello? Can I... Okay. Hey, 
Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. I I know better than that. Well, I mean, well, I, what's the worst that could happen out here? So it's dragging me into the corner. Oh yeah. I can't crouch? Do I have a crouch key? Dude, come on. Am I stuck? Dude, there's no way. Okay. Okay, I just backwards walk everywhere, I guess, because that seems to be the play. Nope, oh, there we go. Excuse me. Backwards walking game, crab walking gamer. It's just rusted. I don't think it's. I think this is an old place, like an old watch station that burned up. Well, got another thing to take home with me. pretty good out here right now. Oh, I see another box. Loot. Gotta go loot the loot box. 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 Oh, I really can't get up there? Really? Gotta go loot the loot box. Gotta go loot the loot box. Map info? Yes, yes. Good. Note. Dave. Hey, yo. I got your note about the needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping the grad students, but I guess not. 
I don't even know. Wait, I don't even know I could how I could really help. Anyways, we're coworkers, you know, amigos, profesionales. If you need someone to throw back a case with you and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with this stuff. You get it. Wait, what did professionals mean? It was amigos as friends, and then this was what? Was it like code for something? I don't remember what the last one said. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with Italian? the flashlight? No, Italian they're friends? Rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Pinecone! Board? Oh. Six feet down under. Interesting. Why was this hidden under a board? I feel like it's a sign. Italian friends? And then a book under a board that's called Six Feet Down Under with a body on it? That's suspicious. Sorry, guitar. Got another pine cone to take home. I gotta go up there. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. I gotta inspect it now? I hate that this is like the run speed. Come on, man. Beer cans. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How can these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Pineco, don't die! No! Oh. We almost crushed him. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? I'm glad I threw the radio in the wet lake now. Fuck them. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything you know, though... Comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. 
Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower wow. and just keep That's an eye out for anything like that would lead two you to years or something. Also hey, remember the fellow months. rangers, bears can't <sighs> read. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. Dude, how many I beer cans? where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Bro, these these two girls are pounding beers. There's literally another beer can every like 20 steps. They're literally just shotgunning and walking. Like, how the fuck are you guys? How are you guys still alive? Okay, green mist is interesting. What is that? Ten months. Whoop whoop. These are the ten months, Wimsa. I do find it quite suspicious, though. There's just a like a literal trail of beer cans. Like, like there's no way. They're that dumb, right? Like, what if they're getting set up? I can't clear that. Uh, probably ready. Probably. Alright, we'll just go this way, I guess. We got here. Supply drop that way. And a fire lookout. And then there's a lake that way. Let's go get the fire. Let's go get the equipment. Oh, <gasps> it's a big one. Really? <gasps> Wait, pine cone. You're good. Wait, pine cone. Wh why can't I walk this way? Hello? R Dude, the random walls are pissing me off. I guess let's go back. Oh my god. Hello? Are you questioning human stupidity? The poor guy that had his team change their name to yours yo avoid VOD request messages and have to educate bears wow okay enough sarcasm yeah people are dumb. Yeah well that solves that theory, there's nothing in the way. Leave the term bit so. Oh, uh, what did they say again? Fire lookout. Okay, let's go back this way. Two forks. And Jonesy Lake.
What? There's a box down there. Oh, I found a bag. Wait a minute. Well, I am flush with ropes now. Just found an old pack full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't believe it. Bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I don't believe it. No way someone just goes missing in the woods on your watch and you do nothing about it. Okay. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for L.O.'s, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that tunnel? Or sorry, having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think that the Forest Service only picks the deranged and the perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la crop, or creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Wait, what's, what's the, the person's name who calls me? Delilah? Deb, Delilah. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Okay, having a claw is kind of cool, but nothing is cooler than my pine cone. Where is he? Pine cone! Pine cone, where'd you... Where'd you go? Pine cone. Pine, pine cone. I got him. We're fine. We're we're safe. We're good. We're chilling. We're safe. We're safe. We're good. Relax. Okay. This way to the lake. Is it that way to the lake? Wait. It's like a fence or something over there. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. Nah. What's a lichen? 
Well, wouldn't you like him to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. I'm gonna keep that. That smoke over there? You go, little pine cone, dude. You're getting, you're getting pesky. Why is everything I love run away from me? Where do you go? Here we go again. He rolled away. <gasps> We're good. Got him. Bitch, you ain't going nowhere. Can we go this way? What does she have? Sorry, I don't mean to just leap into it if you're not ready. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her, if you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that oh, was we can get through it. here. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. We'll chase don't, the smoke. Don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Burned tree. Burned tree. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! God. It is a beautiful game, for sure. My only annoyance so far with it has been the random invisible walls. Oh, am I gonna slip again? Uh. 
Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. like the music changes. The music changes when something scary is coming. Luckily I have my trusty pine cone. Why are my knees so red? Did you see that? Lake. Back here again. Wait. I'm not far from home, am I? Oh, I'm not. Hold on, I gotta go put this pine cone away. I guess I'm taking time to put away my pine cone. What of it? You're gonna wish you had a pine cone later. Whenever that guy shows up, the guy who broke our window, guess what? He's gonna show up and I'm gonna have a bunch of pine cones ready for him. He's be like, ah, pine cones! We got the baseball, we got the pine cone, and we got that. Very relaxing game, for sure. God, met what? in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. Oh. I did make the first move, though. Oh, you were brave. Yo, Jay wins the five Jay did. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Well, that's an answer. It's not the answer I wanted, but it's an A answer. We meet again, Widowmaker. You haven't beat me yet. You ready to give it another shot? Oh, do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. Hello? Yeah, I get to name what that was called, and so I called it Widowmaker. Oh, there's a rope hook here. Fuck it. 
Oh, hey, another box. Map info? Yep. Noted. Missing person. Mitch Michaels. Vehicle info of Ford F250. Oh, he's broke down somewhere. Dude, there's so many pine cones in here. I gotta go back. I don't think I'm going the right way. Wait, no, maybe I am actually. Just keep going. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm being watched right now. You ever get that feeling like you know you're being watched? That's me. Right now. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. <sighs> Sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls, or anything, or call me whenever you want. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now, I'm trying to hunt down some vandals, and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Couple of big rocks. No motherfuckers. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. You found them? Yeah, but the thing is, their entire campsite is wrecked. What happened? Honestly, it, it looks like it could have been a bear. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I, I need to be honest with you. If I find a dead body out here, I'm going to be sick. Well, don't yak. Just look around and let me know what you find. Wait. Actually, you've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. You stole my stuff! Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... 
I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. I'll take care of the fire. That would be great, as always. I don't know where the pine cone went. I'll come back for you. Take another photo of the crime scene. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever you tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing our panties is gross. Out. You're probably a metal, a mental fucking axe murderer and we are so going to jail. Oh, you and you are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick. Wait, I didn't even do half of those things. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is... I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. It's like an they're average Twitch chatter. Back, and we can get to work. I'd really like Where's to that old copy pasta of that guy? Yeah, me too. That guy was like, Flats insulted me and I don't know, like, ruin- not the seagull one, not the ruined my day, but there's another good one somewhere. Oh, the cyberbullying! They accuse me of things like I didn't watch my VOD- or accusing me of things I didn't do, like watch the my VOD I sent, blah blah, and spamming and flaming his followers, like I literally yeah. didn't do any of that. That uh, last message was also bad. Also, did you request to ban me in other chats too? Like, this turned into cyberbullying. <laughs> <laughs> and I can report it at this point. I better get unbanned. Flats needs to explain <laughs> to me why he's That's accusing hard. me of things I didn't say. <laughs> or also ignoring me on purpose. That's a throwback. Which case? Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, that's a classic. Oh, that's so. Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well... That gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Now this can't be that hard. Think of your closet. Open it in your mind. What is inside? Henry! Clothes! I don't really think about it. Oh, come on! I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? <laughs> I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. 
right. It seems like the '90s version of like. I want to know about your eyes. Uh, what is it? It's like. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Steely, happy, tired. They're, uh, they're steely. A cold, hard stare. Hmm. Like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, don't you all start st typing stare? <laughs> John, I'm gonna go pee really quick. I'll be right back. Give me two minutes, okay? <laughs> Not the stare. No, what have I done? Okay. Alright. Let's continue. <sighs> Throw a hat on. Wait, where's my pine cone? Baseball? Where's my other pine cone? Other pine cone? Pine cone! Pinecone! 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 No, I had a second one in here. I brought it back. You know what? I can't reach him, but that's okay. As long as he's safe, that's all that matters. He's safe. Also, remember that board I found earlier? I could probably board up that window if I went back and found that. Where was it? Now that I think about it. I think it was like really up there. Find boards downstairs to patch window. Oh. Damn. Nailed it on every nail? Wow. Impressive. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh. Yeah. 
Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Wait, so I can just go out on my own now if I want? I mean, I don't know why I'd want to do that, though. Under bed table? Wait. Another pine cone? Nice. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. Now get to work. Da -ding. Da -ding. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Henry? Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Uh-oh. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Call her by name. No, she's drunk. You're a big dumb idiot. Time to get info. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Why does she sound so different? Are you having a nice it's time? Julia. Nah, I'm hallucinating. Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Nah, that's weird. That's weird. She's in Australia. How would she call me on a radio? Is I... it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. 
There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. How big are prunes? She'd be this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Don't care, didn't ask. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and... Don't care. I was obsessed with it. Didn't ask. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Don't care. It was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> Then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason... In Gillette? A stadium? I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh... Wow. For some reason, I... wanted you to know. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. You blatantly fucking lied for years. My wife got fucking early Alzheimer's. How's that my fault? Who the other lookout? Who's for the other lookout? Where are they? Moss Peak? Don't do it. What if I take all the looties and then I have all the stuff? Hang on, what's it? Spruce and Moss Peak. Where are they? They're not on my map. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? You know what? I kind of wish I didn't. You've got oh. a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? So, no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, 
plunge it deep into the water and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I've had a bad I've time with tequila. Bad experiences with tequila. A little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get In darkness, lost. five months. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? You're not crazy? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. Feign ignorance. What? what could we do? Well, let me tell you. Dude, I wanted to activate the intergalactic virgin. It didn't let me. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Yeah, sure. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink. More free alcohol and fireworks. Respawned. Yoink. What's up, gang? Oh. Oh. Did I hear something? Oh. Well, that's that's kind of spooky. What? What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I... Uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry! I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that. Oh, that's not good. I don't know how I didn't hear a guy sneaking up on me. What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. 
let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer... Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I, like I shouldn't I'm be saying where I'm going. See if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. What do you mean I bigger see. than it is? I literally just got jumped in the fucking woods. I feel like that's pretty big, no? I had to go home and get one of our acorns. Or pine cones. How else are we supposed to defend ourselves? Wait, there's a bear out here. Maybe I could tame the bear and use him as a weapon. Good thinking. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon Ooh. off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Oh, there's the power of the pine cones to tame the bear. You know what I should have done? I should have took a picture of the clipboard. That would have been smart. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. South of Ruby River. Tame the Ursa ring and have it use slash on the fence. 
Damn, I gotta get all the way the fuck down there? Jesus. That's true. You think if I go home and I roll a dice, or if I roll a d20, you think I can get a good weapon? Possible, right? I don't even know how I'm supposed to get all the way the fuck down there. to go fishing. I just have this feeling I'm gonna turn a corner at one of these points, it's just a fucking grizzly bear. You should be like You should be like, yep, I'm just dead. Cool. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Well, it's definitely down this way. It's all bread. Yeah, I just wanted to catch a fish, man. That's all I wanted. Take a bite. I never opened my cliff bar. Bears just like a roaming mob. How are you doing? So Hawk. Is it two months? You know. Have a good time. Hmm. I think I've made an error. That thing's with the prime. Gotta go back up. Climbing. Climbing. I really... Really make sure you take your time getting back up. Else. 
should we call the cops or the Forest Service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? Yes! I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come You've back. You've already here. given off hints of cuckoo! All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Listen. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? No, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Chat. This is like we we like to call chat. Classic gaslighting. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Wait, wait, I, I'm opening the thing. I can't reply. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Three blind rats. I feel like the books, like, names have a meaning. I don't know why. Three blind rats, six I feet under. Know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like the same author? I was thinking about the good ones. Surgeon? It just struck me that... It is. If anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Am I right, though? Am I right? That's so sus. There's a big tree with a random ski on it. What happened to the other ski? Why is there only one ski?
there's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Wait. That one has two skis. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Take a photo? Good call. Subway. Yeah, we keep trucking. Hopefully, no bears. Camp. What? Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. See, if it said beware of weebs, I would totally... Totally take that as like a very serious, you gotta be careful warning, you know? Beware of weebs. Oh, I think I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop offs, but here I am. Stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. Mm. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm. Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, Planar Dragon's armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. It's the same guy. Mitch Michaels. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Why? You don't think you're going to end up on a milk carton, do you? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly... I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. 
He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. <laughs> oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! So... Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. Hey, so, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Damn. Alright, let's report it now. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before Ooh. getting picked up. Damn. Axe. Yes. Wait. How do I equip axe? I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I Wait. just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You... You think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers Next who talk every day. Like, if you put into the someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. The fire yeah, on that's what river. I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, I don't I read it, but shut up! You said you did. Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out. Fucking yapping, like yap, 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 yap. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Finally, in the next few days, Junior Team will be dropping in the Thermoforn region of the Shoshine National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, and we reached out to the superintendent with wildlife wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return. Someone from his office will want to speak with you as a part of the wildlife risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about, and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preservative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think you've got insurance companies, or sorry, they've got insurance companies' answers too. Thank you always for your service. Okay. Taking that though, for sure. Who wouldn't take some toilet paper? Picture? You think I should take a picture of this place? I got the important thing. I got the to I got the toilet paper. Wink. <laughs> Time to go home. Oh. Drop down. Okay, that probably made a lot of noise. We're good. 
Are you there? I I had a thought. Oh no. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Are you kidding right now? Did you not stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Toilet oh, paper came home with me at least. Where are my pine cones? One. <gasps> Where did that one go? Where's the third one, though? That's two. There's a third one. One. The baseball's gone, too. Wait, you're right! My stuff! My stuff is gone. No. No. Wait, hang on. Where am I supposed to go again? Cottonwood. And then. That's down there. Oh, I'm so dead. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm gonna die. I gotta go to the tree with the ski.
Get me out of here. I want to go home. I want you to go home. Is it this way then? Which way is it? I think it's this way. I called it donkeys for the first time ever and now I can never go back. This is four months. Welcome to the, the light. Okay, this map does not update well. I, think I gotta go this way. Kind of works. I hope I brought my axe with me. Check the bag? What bag? Ooh. Wait, how do you check your bag? You can check your bag? wish the powers that be could issue us radios that don't suck ass. Most of the time I prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it would be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took this job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot, at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. When I'm a quarter way through this bottle of my Damn long instead. enough to make two babies. Long. It's the 18 months cable guy. Appreciate it, dude. Is this another one? Terminal 7? Another Richard Sturgeon novel. The Accidental Savior. Oh, this one's different. Pink cone? Other paper? Jane Erie. One chance to die. Nothing useful in there. Let's go. It's our thing of three months. Appreciate it. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Um, try not to die to a bear. Or a person. Both. Did you hear that? The bushes behind me are rattling. It sounds like someone's up there. Oh, don't fuck with me. I got my trusty pine cone.
Can't let go of them. They can't hurt me. You can't hurt me while I have my pine cone. keep hearing shit. Wait. Pine cone of safety. Here at Cottonwood Creek. Why'd I say it? See the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five six seven eight. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you. Should the I one take you just got. How 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 is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. Nothing no, I like think it's a bad idea. Has ever happened before. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Ugh. This is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Hello? Okay. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And... I didn't. I... I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now, someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And... I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Ugh, and those girls are still missing. No way. Yep. 
Lila. Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Mm. Oh, Delilah, you ain't making this any easier. Just pause. Yeah, I need to go, uh, I need to go turn my AC off. My hands are really cold. Give me two seconds. Okay. All right. Let's go. Delilah is scary. Dude, everyone's fucking terrifying in this. Do you hear that? Surely it's nothing, chat. Surely it's nothing. I can't believe my guy is so fucking dumb that when he got the radio, he called in where he found it. He's like, I'm here now. Brother, what? How are you out in the wild and you've gotten zero survival skills? How does that make any sense? It's like the fire season, so things are really smoky. But smokiness is definitely makes it kind of even more spooky. You know what I mean? Yeah, we know there's a bear out here, so smoke we smoky the bear bud be coming out of the corner at some point. Huh. 
Nah, that's not that's man made. Someone did that. Someone that was not like that last time I walked by. That was not like that. Someone put that there. Oh, it's time to break this fence down. Yeah. No. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. What if I was dying? I just ran over that? Okay. The snap tree, by the way. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Dump out all the gasoline and run. Dump out all the gasoline, start a fire with a lighter, and just fucking peace. Wait, I'm, I'm actually supposed to be preventing wildfires. Fuck, can't do that. I mean, I guess this one time it should be fine, right? Let me take a picture of that. doing something with the soil out here too it's all gridded off hey maybe you were right about the lichens I'm in their main tent what's it like it's definitely some sort of monitoring station well, there's nobody here it's just tents and equipment and yeah that's it look everywhere Maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on. I mean, there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Why would something like this even be out here? Wouldn't it be easier to spy on people in a city? Somewhere you can blend into the background? Yeah, it's also a lot harder to get rid of problems if there are people around. Out here, you can just disappear. Thanks for that. How about I stay in my lookout and you do all the hiking around? Uh, no thank you.
Jeez, I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell out. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear I'm not it, liking this. After? They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Uh, so that's me. Frequent departure from Two Forks area. Avoidance behaviors consult previous data. Unreciprocates desire for copula copulation. Conflict with other males. Disproportionate food intake. Wait, are these bears? map here that confirms they're tracking my our people's movements the map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it there are lines that look like some of the paths i normally take are you positive it's you i'm not sure but i think so there's a box here with a dial it has a needle like it measures earthquakes you mean like a lie detector yeah i'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it Stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I don't oh, know what that stuck. thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. What's up, VP? Bill, Geometer, Wednesday, and Sunday. Fuck your peanut butter. She keeps saying I should get out of here, but like... I mean, I'm in the right spot, are I not? Oh. here what do they say their assessments about the two of us there's stuff in here about julia like what stuff i didn't tell you this is what did, what does it say about me you said there was one about me and it looks like they've been following me around what i do when i'm out hiking jesus henry do you hear me it says that you and your boyfriend are still together what 
We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, but... okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario... Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Mm. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! It's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Wait, reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal reality. Never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings, multiple lovers despite long-time partner, Javier. Sus sus susceptibility to manipulation. Wait, mine was a nine. There's is a three. Supervisor sign-off, e.g. Yeah. I do not trust her. I do not trust any of them. What about my uh, beepy beepy? Beepy beepy? Beep? Beep beep? Yeah, maybe we, we, maybe we were supposed to come here. If our thing is a nine. Maybe we got manipulated into coming here. The dude running into these random fucking walls and not able to really move anymore really, really helps out the whole. Yeah, I want to get the fuck out of here. Narrative. I knew it. I knew it. Monka fucking W. Wait, what? Uh, Henry? I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. What do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Damn, I guess I shouldn't have thrown their peanut butter on the ground. Beeps? Any beep beeps? Are you leaving your lookout? This receiver picked something up. I'm, I'm just checking it out. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? Partially played this game on know. a buddy's console, you but loved it. Out. Enjoy. Right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! 
Good plan. I'm a good planner. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, My thinking is this thing's attached to a bear, and I'm going to go look aye, for a aye, fucking aye. bear. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Oh yeah, something's about to jump out this bush and kill my ass. Roar. Oh, that's way worse. Woo. Shit! What? Huh. Well, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. See, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine, but there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says I, the woman with half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Whoa. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm what? not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Go, go, go. Time to go beat some ass. I'm literally right here. There's no way he could have made it all the way down the stairs before I got here. Yo, I'm ready to fuck some shit up. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Yo, knock, knock, bitch. What? I don't see anyone up here. Oh. He was just there. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. Uh-oh. No. We are screwed. No! No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Us? What's this us? You're the boss. I was just... What? Following orders? Look, you know I didn't start this fire. 
So you just tell him the truth, right? That's all you can do. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. All right. Let go. Cave is that away. Leave me a new baseball? You know what? Maybe he's not that bad of a guy. That's why you're marked as a nine. Go fuck yourself. Hey, you, you didn't actually make that call, right? To to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I'm not even going to answer that. But you could be lying to me too, you know. I I'm not. Yeah, I hope not. You know what? Forget I asked. You asked first. Fuck you. Going in. I should take the key. Okay. No. Um. Uh-oh. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Yeah, that's good. Jesus, this is a big cave. Definitely gonna be a bear's house. Any bears? It's freezing in here. I tried to take the key, it wasn't in the thing. Oh, that ain't good. That's bad. Maybe it's a cheese cave? Yeah, that maybe. That'd be nice.
I'm not going to say anything. Wait for her to call me first. Radio Goodman with Brian and Ned. Dear Mr. Zackler, with my dad in Lavender, Wyoming, it's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska. Then there's the mountains and woods and they go so far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. It was definitely him at the bottom of the thing. Wizards and wyverns. Up. Oh. Out to ranger. Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If your friend, if you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors. I hope. Could you do me a favor and return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is this, Nebraska. Tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I have left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them. But I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Yes, the reward will be good. Fuck. That kid's dead as fucking hell, too. Five degrees north. Band. Science homework? And drawn schematic. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Animal nest. I'm gonna take this dinosaur with me. So, something I never told you, or anyone, about Brian. In regards to him being out here, you know, being against the rules. I. Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... How'd she know uh, I got out? I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. 
Big bones, thanks to Prime. Ghost. Before you go back in, okay? You mean going back in? Going back in? Am I supposed to go back in? What am I gonna do about the dino? Tone Capone, thank you for the five GFDs. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Appreciate, appreciate. Now I get sub, make sure you say thank you. Am I going to have to go all the way back around? Yeah, I do. I do have to go back around. That's kind of annoying. I guess I'll bring the dinosaur home. trust her for shit. I never did, but it's definitely worse now. Go there and take a left. She's basically just admitted to us that she's nothing but a pathological liar. She lies about her ex-boyfriend slash husband. She's lied about the girls that went missing. She's lied uh about those two, the kid being there in a report. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Uh-huh. Not saying a word. I'm radio silent until I find something. So there's some good news for us. For whatever it's worth. bring this dinosaur home. It probably meant a lot to the kid. So I need to have it for him. I must take him home. So maybe it will have fingerprints in case D Delilah ends up being a dirty, dirty liar. Him so far. Pretty good. Oh, buggy. I, I get annoyed of walking into invisible walls. 
Other than that, though, enjoying myself. So, Jack, thanks for the eight months. Happy birthday, Flats. Hope but, all is well. But it's not. It's not. Roar. What was that behind the outhouse? Uh, the generator. It's a generator on the ground. It's the power for this place. Wait, it's a wooden sign. Wait, what? How long has this been here? That's new, isn't it? the whole time You know what? That kind of works. I wanted to try and see if I could stand him up in the window. You know, like, you know, kind of like a scarecrow, but, you know, maybe when I'm home. You know what I mean? Like, also, Clock Tower thing's the prime. Sorry, I missed that. Appreciate it. Um. You know, like, so they say they think I'm home. They'll think I'm in the tower, but in meanwhile, it's the Fallout. Fucking guy. You think he'd be better in the outhouse? I don't think he needs the shit. Wrong way. Oh no, it's right here. One in. Uh, 
Chilling, we're vibing, we're having a good time. Okay, continuing. Hold me, chat. Hold me. Hold me. Oh, fuck no. Why'd you step on him? Why you fucking stupid? <sighs> Jesus Christ. That looks suspicious. Okay, good. This looks suspicious as well. Okay, good. Nothing to see here. Keep it moving. Gonna keep it moving. Gonna, okay, gonna have to crab walk. Crab walk. climb up one of these and his dad's gonna be like, who are you? I'm like, oh my god. Oh, the door didn't close. Wait. This is where the guy was hiding. Oh my god. I wonder if I had looked up right there, would I have seen him? I say anything. I want to go home. Oh. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be it's fucking kidding me. Months. How does that... <sighs> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or... made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. 
I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever's after us probably didn't even know about him. Delilah, you should have told someone he was He's listening here. to us still. Just stop. So if I berate I her and take that Maybe guy's you side, Henry, you won't hurt me. Shit. You don't think I know he'd be alive if it weren't for me? And I fucking know it's my fault. I'll never forget that it's on me. He's probably still listening. And so if I'm like, yeah, you should have called. Dumbass. Back up belongings? Wait, where's my... Oh, my hat on? Fine, go and you're coming with you me. see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec? You know, about things? About what? We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look. I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, Stay there, Pine the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I mean, am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. We're gonna re meet at the lake that it all started at? How poetic. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. Alright, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's. it's just. Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. I go the wrong way?
The numbers. What do the numbers mean? You're blaming back, your kid? Having to answer questions and having to get him put in the ground and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone he's deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Why can't you I pick this thing up? need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. This feels so suspicious. I save I I don't know dude I <laughs> What's this collar though? What's up there? Can I get up there another way? I don't think so. I just have a feeling I'm gonna die. I, I, that ain't me. That ain't me. That ain't me. Fuck it, I guess we'll die. Oh. Or 
cool. Well, we lived. There's a clothesline. I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. You know, America's taught me a lot of things. And one of them is to not fuck with people who live in the woods and that are survivalists. Um, that's just a really bad idea. But I'm going in for the content. Hey, hey, Ned, you want a roommate? What's the rent looking like? No. He... God. What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Brian was a nice-looking kid. Yeah. Dropped it by accident, not taking that back. Sleeping bag from the teens campsite. Holy shit, Monk and W. What's your site info, how to break in. Staff return August 10th. Holy shit. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. It was this guy. You little shit, you were stealing our supplies too. This boombox looks familiar. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Crazy like wife, not good guy. Mama Grizz is back. They heard me. Fully believe there's a program. Use this. Two FM's coming at sight. Reports worked. Recorded call used for leverage. Found supplies. How? Keys gone. Can't left. 2F. Find B. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He Ever called for hiker list? Re-rig Delano to pick up fuel or dual frequency. Can hear D and two F at concurrently. Hiked by cave. He seems less interested. Jules, Julian, Julia. Two F is a good guy. Haven't seen Mama Grizz in two months. D is drunk again. He was scared shitless. Stranger flying at J Lake. 
So I'm on the Grizz on morning hike. Rainy week. Water stocks stocks good. Smoking trout while hikers gone. You look at it in 2F, Henry 2F. Saw 2F coming out of cave. B calling for hikers list. Delay her and she'll forget. Ooh. I can't pick this last one up. Scout migration due to fire. Fucked up. Do not want me to leave. Reminder hide supplies for migration. D and 2F suspect conspiracy. Funny if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Ideas. Start working on reports. Record all comms. Vandalize D's tower. Pin on 2F. Try to make more remote recording device. Uni research sites. Move pit against each other. Wait, so they were trying to pin us against each other? Kind of worked because I didn't try. I didn't really trust her. He had quite the view. Honestly, I still don't trust her. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. This is it. Now it's time to get out. Time to run. Imagine it gets cut. Oh my god. Alright. Let's see. Need to go up there, take the river canyon, and then get the fuck out. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit further. Hopefully, I don't bump in any bears. I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't so right, I did leave the pine cone. Wait. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. I think... I think that Ned loved him. He still had his photo, you know? I don't want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, but you didn't. You didn't tell the truth when they asked you. You didn't send him home. No. You just gotta live with it, Delilah. It won't be that hard. If you say so. <laughs> D? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Uh, D, what if they don't come back for me? They'll come back. That's their job. Just what if we missed something about uh, something I don't know Henry you're tired there's nothing big going on they'll come back for you I don't believe you just wait I'm gonna go okay that's why I didn't trust you I have to hike safe 
Okay, I got pine cone. We're fucking good to go. I know it's okay. The kid will come back for it someday. I can only take one thing with me. I have to take the pine cone. Chat, I know we had to leave Dino. I, it was a tough decision. Where are we right now? Cut through the cave. And cut through the brush? Wait, no. We have to go down river a bit. Then we go up. Actually, both of them connect. I just think the other way is faster. Pine cone? Pine cone? Oh, come on. I didn't even... I didn't even put you on the ground for very long. <coughs> Pine cone. Pine cone. Pine cone. There you are. So I think I go down river a bit. And I take the first right. It's not a river, that's a creek. All right, fucking environmentalist, biologist. My bad, I, I mixed up my rivers and creeks. You creek this, well not. Got climbing. I thought this would be a faster way. Come on, Pinecone. I'm make sure I'm going the right way here. Seem to be. Come on, Pinecone. I swear to Jesus if there's a bear over there. If I went through all this shit... Just to bump into a fucking bear at the end. Let's 
Ow. Climb. Climb. You guys got hit with ads? Dude, that's a bad timing. <laughs> that's a bad timing. <laughs> Holy shit. That's tough. Stop the game. Bing bum 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 bing bum bum. <laughs> We're going to get a good PC, Command Ironside. <sighs> you guys good? You guys are you guys done? You guys good? Okay. Cool. Let's go. Use code flats? Yep, for 5% off. Uh, fuck. It's the right. Go, pine cone. It's time to go. Oh. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? This is where we say our goodbyes, little pine cone. You are the greatest pine cone anyone could have asked for. I'll never forget you. Be here. Be free in nature. Grow into a mighty oak someday. Someday you will become the biggest tree in this whole forest. Just got off work. You have How more rotational spinnies. Okay, get over there then. You have more rotational spinnies than any acorn I've ever met. Yep. <sighs> I'm gonna grow up to be a big, strong one someday. What's Delilah's outhouse look like? Have a good time? I want to have a good time. Do a big stinky poop right in her, her toilet. Oh, now we get to pee in, pee, peer into her, her world. It's all organized, beds made. Is authored by Timothy Howell. Crosswords. Boring. 
Tequila! Haha, <laughs> keeping that for later. Yoink! What the fuck? What? <laughs> this is just like some shitty fan art. Get out of here. Apple? Yo, disgusting. That one looks gross too, but I'm eating it. Could drink this if we need to. Yeah, fuck your place. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Yeah, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Leave your light on. your mug yeah yeah what else yeah 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 I think I, I, think I proved my my point hello wait she Anybody stole there? it Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, uh, shit. Ninja things about So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. Uh oh. <sighs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... Under Boulder with me, move to Santa Fe, you'd make a good shrink. Yo, get far away maybe from me. Maybe move to Santa Fe. Open a jade emporium with your sister. Hmm. I'd be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, but maybe that's not all bad. Plus the margarita situation? I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what about me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. I'm moving uh, on. I gotta move on. I don't expect you to know what that's like, but I... Have to find some way to move on. Ralph. To do. What if you can't? Then that's why God invented booze, I guess. Henry. It is what I'm it kidding. is. But I gotta move on. Somehow. I hope you do. There's the helicopter. They'll land you back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Bye, Delilah. I mean it, Henry. Good luck. Thanks. Thought about not Bye. responding. I thought that might be a little too mean. Wait. 
take her stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, can I take the sign? Fuck. Uh, the peanut butter, fuck. I'll, I'll take the, fuck. I'll take the thermos. Where are you, helicopter? Helicopter. Wait for me. Can I choose to not go home? Wait, wait, I was trying to pick up the thermos! No! No, not even the thermos gets. No, no, not again. I think that was a good game. Good game. Didn't take too long. I enjoyed it. I know we didn't get the credits because it was the DMCA credits, but, you know, hey, I think it was pretty good. I think it was pretty good. Okay. Chat. I'm gonna head out. Appreciate y'all for hanging out, spending your time. I hope you uh, enjoyed, you know, being here for a little bit of something different. You Flats, thanks for always being there when I'm sad and need some content. Thanks for three months. Appreciate it, Draco. I hope you enjoyed hanging out. That was fun. Um, I hope you guys had fun, too. It was a good time for me. Nice, nice kind of chill game. Uh, I didn't know there was different endings. I guess not. I thought there might have been, but... Anyways, though, I'm not going to delay. I'm going to hop off and go get some food. I'll see y'all later. Have a good night. Peace out. Bye-bye.